Hello, my name is Douglas Block. I'm an author and a depression counselor. Welcome to your depression recovery channel, where each week we talk about practical tools and coping strategies to heal from anxiety and depression. The other day, I was walking with a friend who had been very helpful to me during my depressive episode. I thought to myself, you know, this guy has a really blessed life. He has great physical health, good mental health, a loving wife, two kids, a successful career as a doctor, and a brand new home. As I was envying my friend, I thought to myself, you know, I have things to be thankful for. I have a roof over my head, although it's an 80 year roof, it doesn't leak. Uh, I don't have my own children, but I have two God's children who I love dearly and who love me also. I may not be making a lot of money, but I have these YouTube videos I've been creating and they seem to be helping a lot of people. I have a loving partner and many loving friends, 27 of whom came to visit me when I was in the hospital. And while my mental health has been problematic, I have really good physical health and I've had it my own, whole life, uh, partially due to the good genes I inherited from my parents. So uh, I also have a blessed life. Now, counting your blessings is very important to recovery from depression. Because when we focus on what we're grateful for, this releases chemicals in the brain that make you feel better and lift your mood. After I had listed my blessings, my inner critic spoke up. He said, you know, that may be true, but remember, you've been hospitalized for depression five times. Is that something to be happy about? I said, well, no, but uh, as a result of my mental health struggles, uh, some good has emerged. I've written books. I have my Healing from Depression website. I have these videos and I have my support group. So in other words, my suffering has created some positive effects. And while I've spent a lot of my life battling depression, I've also had years of wellness and joy. That being said, it is much easier to be thankful when you are mildly depressed or anxious than when you were majorly depressed or anxious. This was certainly true for me in the time in the hospital where I was continually depressed minute after minute. The only thing I had to be grateful for were the people who came to see me. Uh, otherwise, you know, I could think of nothing that was going my way. I suppose I could have counted my blessings by thinking I'm breathing, I have enough to eat, I have a roof over my head, etc. But the torment of depression and suicidal depression would not let me do that. When you are surrounded by darkness, it is impossible to see the light. Fortunately, these times of darkness usually pass if we can just hang in there. I would like to conclude by asking you, the viewer, to take inventory. Ask yourself the question, what are the blessings in my life? What do I have to feel grateful for? Uh, if you can't find any large blessings, turn to the small one. As I listed before, when I was in the hospital, you have a roof over your head, you have something to eat, you might have a loving partner or loving friends or someone you care about. Uh, look for the small things, and although they may not seem very important, uh, many people in the world don't have them. This has been Douglas Block. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned something from it. If you have any comments, you can put them in the comments section, or you can simply email me at douglasblock at gmail.com, all lowercase. And if you want to learn more about this work, Healing from Depression is my website, or you want to subscribe to this channel, simply click on the links in the closing credits. And until we meet again, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. Thank you.